Hey guys, stay tuned for a tutorial on how to create a daytime look using Silhouette Cosmetics. Hey everyone, it's Stacy, and I'm going to go over the list of Silhouette products that I use for this tutorial, um, and then we can go ahead and get started. Um, so I have used the Silhouette Camera Ready Primer, the Flawless Medium Coverage Liquid Foundation in N3, the Cream Pot Concealer in N25, the Dual Powder N3, in, sorry, in shade N3, Bronzer in shade Sunkissed, Blush in shade Ruffles, Highbrow Powder, Dark Brunette, um, the Eyeshadow in Whisper, I also used the Eye and Lip Primer um, in Translucent, Black Eyeliner, Black Volume Boosting Mascara, and High Gloss Lipstick in the shade of Mutsy. So you will notice in the video here that I did not do a video on her um, doing her base. So I haven't included that in this video. We will do a completely separate video on um, how I concealed and uh, perfected um, any imperfections that she wanted covered or anything like that. And we'll do that in a completely separate video. So um, here we're just going to go right ahead into brows. So you'll see here I'm just using the high brow powder in dark brunette. Um, I use a spoolie brush often and I rotate between my spoolie brush and my um, eyeshadow angled brush. Um, this is just to help deposit the color evenly so that we don't get any dark spots left in the eyes, or sorry, in the eyebrows anywhere specific. So it just helps make it a lot softer and a lot more natural um, as well. So if uh, you guys want me to or you have any suggestions for any videos, please um, post them below. I will also list in the description box below all the products used. Um, but just let me know if anyone wants me to do um, any videos on how to specifically um, fill in the brows um, with the proper three-step rules are and anything like that and we can do just even separate products or separate videos on those products as well um, I have a new makeup brush line coming in uh, so we're gonna do some videos on those as well and just make it super simple and then I can link everyone over to our website um, for any purchasing as well all right so here's our finished brows so we're going to move right on in here to doing her eyes. So we're just doing a daytime look today. So nothing nothing too dark, um, but a little bit darker than, than maybe normal, just to really enhance her eyes a lot here. So I'm just right now applying the um, Silhouette Eye and Lip Primer in Translucent. Um, the biggest thing and the biggest thing I teach in a lot of my makeup lessons is do not apply any cream products, um, base products especially, to your eyelids. Um, cream eyeshadows, whatever, that is completely your choice. But when you're using liquid foundations or any cream-based products as a base, you will create creasing throughout the day. So a primer is very, very important um, to help your eyeshadow last as well as not crease. So um, I use this product, absolutely love this product. Um, my, la my eyes used to crease quite often. Um, so this is definitely something that I would recommend for everyone to have in their makeup bag. So I do use a small brush to apply um, primer underneath the bottom lash line as well. Um, just I am a huge, huge believer in um, for a very soft eyeliner using um, eyeshadow. So I like the primer to to hold that intact for the whole day. So going ahead here using a large fluffy brush, I am just applying our eyeshadow whisper. Um, has a nice highlight to it. Creates a nice base for eyeshadow and. Um, You'll notice here I, I do just do the one side of her eyes so you guys can see what's going on here. So I always use a Kleenex underneath. A lot of people use a translucent powder. Everyone has their own preference. You do what makes you comfortable. This just saves from any dark shadow falling onto the cheek and having you to, to redo your base. A lot of people do eyes before base. That is fine too. I'm a big believer also in there are new, no rules in makeup. You are your own makeup artist. Do what you like. Um, there's no rules. Everyone has their own preference. Do what makes you feel comfortable, okay? So you'll notice I rotate back and forth between two brushes. We're just using um, two eyeshadows for this look. So I just rotate back and forth to get the perfect blend. We don't any, want anything to look too harsh. No lines look, look natural that way. So everything's nice and blended. So I've just, just applied the dark brunette in. Um, just so you can see, it's just like in a triangular shape on the, on the outside of the lid. And I just move in halfway and then it blends into your highlight color as well. So it's just very nice and natural for a nice daytime business look. Michelle has beautiful blue eyes, so this really helps pop that eye color as well. 
as it would also with like a green or anything like that. So part of the video has missed that I did apply a black uh, retractable liner to the inside of her lash line. Um, I really think that that helps nicely align the eye. Um, here I'm just going in with my angled brush that it was used on her brows with the dark brunette, same color, <laughs> dark brunette, um, to just dust it lightly across the lash line. Again, this is something that I think is extremely natural. In a lot of my makeup lessons, I teach people how to use shadow um, for their liner instead of um, black harsh liner. I don't use a lot of liquid liner. You'll notice probably in a lot of our videos going forward here that I barely ever use it unless I'm doing a photo shoot. Here's just a simple eyelash curler. Michelle has nice long lashes to begin with, but uh, curling anybody who curls their lashes just really helps lift the eyelid and, and makes it really beautiful. So I'm just using the Black Volume Boosting Mascara here, applying it to her lashes. I always recommend to, to apply it to your bottom lashes. There is a preference by a lot of people that they don't like it on their bottom lashes, which is fine too, um, but it does really help line that eye and keep it all consistent and balanced top and bottom. And it's your preference too on how much you want to apply. If you want to apply a lot of mascara, a little bit of mascara, totally, totally your preference. Here moving into lips, I'm using the high gloss lip, liquid lipstick, liquid lipstick, sorry about that. The high gloss lipstick in uh, shade Mutsy. So um, this color is really beautiful. It's a nice peachy coral color, probably more coral. It has a little bit more pink hue to it, um, but it's a nice balance. If you're doing a heavier eye, in this case, we haven't. We've just done more of maybe a heavier natural eye, I guess you could say. Um, but you really want to balance it with your lips. If you do too bold of an eye and too bold of a lip, it, it can be very strong. So just make sure that if you're doing a bold lip, um, just do a more natural eye. If you're doing a bold eye, just make sure you do more of a natural lip. So just keep that in mind as well. Just a little, a little tidbit. I don't use um, lip liner. Um, I find with our lipsticks, you don't need it unless it's a very... Um, uh, shiny and, and thinner consistency, which I can go over that in another video with uh, Silhouette Cosmetics. But um, I find, if anything, we have a Duo Fix lip uh, lip liner that is invisible, so it helps as well. So here, um, I just use a sponge, just a little tip. I like to clean up my lipstick just to make sure it's perfect. So I just put a little dual powder on a on a little sponge and just perfect that line. And there's Michelle's completed daytime look. So thank you for watching. Hey everyone, this is Michelle's completed makeup tutorial for a daytime look. If you're loving it, please make sure that you subscribe and comment below with any of your nail and makeup tutorial requests. Have a good day. Bye.